Hey, my Lipton's. So, I wanted to talk about somebody. And this obviously for my Bollywood um, subscribers. Because I've been thinking about this man lately. Because I was just on his Instagram at that. I was just on his Instagram. And I'm just like, you know. And maybe this might be an unpopular opinion. Okay, so don't kill me. This is an unpopular opinion. So this is Ranveer Sin, right? I think he's one of the what is he the one that, the highest paid um Bollywood actor right now right now? I'm not sure if he's one of the highest paid Bollywood actors right now in, in Bollywood. Just just to, you know, start it off. For me personally, I think that Ranveer Ranveer is one of the best male actors that we have in Bollywood today okay let me just say that especially for like this new generation of like Bollywood actors I'm not talking about you know Salman Shadow because those are you know older generation I'm talking about as far as like for the new generation Ranveer Singh is probably one of the best if not the best actor um in Bollywood right now okay so I genuinely like Ranveer's work like I like I like I've I've watched some of his movies okay I haven't watched a lot of them but I watched some of them and obviously in my past videos that I did about you know Bollywood and Bollywood movies um I've stated that I don't really watch a lot of Bollywood movies th- that come out nowadays because it's, it's very very generic it's very very just same old scripts it, it, it's just you can tell that they're not really putting any more effort and I'm not talking about like one rear specifically I'm just saying like in general like with these Bollywood movies like that they're putting out it's just I, I can't deal with the it's just it's it's so bad y'all i'm so sorry it's so bad like the 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 movies are just so bad like it i can't even get into it but for ranveer right i think ranveer ranveer singh is one of the best actors to come out of um this new generation of bollywood but i have to i have to be honest i have to be honest as much as I like Ranveer, as much as I like him, he, his movies are hit and miss for me. His movies are hit and miss. There are times where I feel like Ranveer will give us the best performances of his life in a movie. And then there are times where it's like he will go into this. But, and maybe, it, you know, because... I, I, cause I do see his Instagram and stuff, so it's like, you could tell Ranveer is very like free spirited. He's very you know comedic. He's very hyper. He's very just like you know like da 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 like you know. He's very hyper, like he's very very just like comedic and like ah oh my god da 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 da. So you can tell that that reflects in his like some of his movies due to like his personality so his personality is very comedic right and he, he gets kind of like class clownish kind of guy and i get that i like i i totally understand why he will pick roles that are like that reflect his personality his personality but uh, i feel like run like here's the thing i can I can still see Ranveer being like not because let's be very clear, Ranveer is a Bollywood India household name. Okay, he's a Bollywood India household name. I want Ranveer to be on like a Amita Bachchan level household name because let's be very clear, there are Americans that know Amita Bachchan. There are Americans that, especially, that know who Shah Rukh Khan is. If you were to ask, I guess, a section of the American population, 
if they knew who Shahrukh Khan is, they would tell you. They would tell you. Not all of them, but a good amount will tell you that they know who Shahrukh Khan is, right? Because Shahrukh Khan has been able to ex- exceed levels that nobody has been able to do in a very long time, right? I feel like with Ranveer's talent, he can re- he can really really become a household name, and I'm not saying not through his like ambassador like his ambassador for India stuff or like because I know he's like an he does like a lot of stuff with the India NBA and and all that. I'm not talking about like as far as like him being an ambassador for India. I'm talking about like him as an actor. Okay? Him as an actor, I feel like Ranveer could really, really come out here and do it for us. Okay? Because there are films where it's like it, it, he gives like some of the best, a few of them, not all of them, but like a few of his films, he gave us some of the best performances of his life. Like this is one of them. Bajiro Mastani. This is one of the, the films that I thoroughly enjoyed from Ranveer and, the, and obviously the Pika Biryanka. But Ranveer's performance was particularly amazing along with Biryanka, right? And then there's another one too. Um, This is Padmavat. Padmavati. I think, um, I personally, to this day, I still think that, um, this is Ranveer Singh's best performance ever, ever, okay, and I'm, and that's me just on a shoot, like, Ranveer's role as this king in Padmavati is his pet, is his best performance ever, he did the damn thing. I'm talking about acting. I'm talking about like, like, you, you can really tell like he was like the bad guy in this. Like he, he played this role so well. Even me, I was like, damn. Like, if if Ranveer like, doesn't shoot up to soup, like to, like this needs to cross his. This need, but then again, I also feel like because of like the backlash that this movie got. And the, cause there was some backlash. I forgot what it was exactly. Cause you know, it had something to do with, you know, the the Hindus and the Muslims. I don't know. In in India, I have no clue. You guys can explain it to me. But I feel like after this film, this film should have really, really solidified it for Ranveer. Of him being a household name. But I I felt like he, he... Ranveer became a household name only in India. Like, I want Ranveer to, like, really, really pick roles that will, like, cross over. Like, okay, for instance, here's another film where it's like, while, yes, I like these two films particularly, but there's another film where I feel like he dropped the, where, you know, the roles that he picked, he dropped the ball. For instance, Ram Lila. Here's the thing. There was a lot of potential with um, Ram Lila. Okay? There was a lot of potential. When I heard that this was like sort of like a Romeo and Juliet-like-esque kind of film, I was like, okay, let's... I will watch it. Because you know me, I'm a Romeo and Juliet fan. To this day, my my, my favorite version of Romeo and Juliet is the um, 1968, I think. 1960 or 1969 version of Romeo and Juliet, um, American film, so I was like, okay, like, let me go into this film, because I really thought that this was gonna give me, like, romantic drama kind of film, and in some ways, I felt like Ranveer's, like, character in the film was too goofy for me, like, especially in the beginning, I thought it was too goofy for me. I thought, you know, and there, don't get me wrong, there were other moments where it was like, okay, like, the acting got serious, it was good. But I felt like 
it should have been the film should have been taken way more seriously as far as like the script and this is coming from Sha, uh, Sha, um, Shashi Lila Bensali and he's an amazing um screenwriter director you know because he gave us Dave Das he gave us he gave us so many great films so I, I was surprised that this film it, it could it was good Ram Lila was good but it could have it could have been a little bit better. It could have been a little bit better, right? But if you go down, and and those are just one of your best films. If you go down to like some of one of your like discography, it's giving. I'm sorry, and it's no shade, and I like one of your, but it's giving goofy, like just not really like and maybe i'm old school maybe i'm old school bollywood i i like the um uh, romantic drama kind of film i like the sort of like like give me like a more serious storyline as to why like br- bring me to the story tell me why are we here basically i was recently watching um, Kabi Kabi Alvada Nakehena, right on Netflix, and it's like, for me, you can I can I genuinely had an emotion as to why, as to um Shadok's character and Ani's character, what they were doing, and how they were affecting their families by their behaviors. I don't get that kind of feeling anymore when I watch Bollywood films. It's unfortunate, and I'm not just talking about. Um, one of your in particular, I'm just talking about it in general. It's like with these storylines and these movies, like even like this, for instance, Simba, um, that one of your came off. It's just even by like the marketing, you could tell already like it was goofy for me. I'm sorry, I don't. I like I said, I'm old school. I'm very old school, so maybe I like the more so like uh, romance drama hell maybe even mystery crime like bozzy gut like give me something like that especially for ranveer's caliber i feel like he's better than these kind of films to be honest i feel like he's better because like it's like you and this is recently. Look at this. This is a 2022 film. It's like... Rumvir should be doing way better than this. Honestly. He should be picking roles that are way better. That will catapult him into... Like the... Like the intercontinental mainstream. Honestly. Like I, I, never, I never even watched this movie. And I already know it's goofy. This is not what I want for him. And and he's plus he's such a great actor too. Like it's like why why are you continuously picking roles that are like that are childish? Like I feel like when you look at Shahrukh Salman, Amir Khan, um Hitrick Roshan, some like when I see those actors, Shadow Khan is gonna go down in history as one of the best Bollywood actors of all time because of like the character work that he's built. Shadow Khan has built himself to be like the romance guy, the like but he's also versatile too, because Shadow Khan in the beginning of his career gave me like evil, like evil character kind of person. When I look at Ranveer and, and some of the films that he's doing right is still doing right now, just like the goofy stuff, is giving like, okay, you're gonna go down as this goofy person knowing that you have so much potential, knowing that you have so much versatility. When Ranveer I'm sorry, to this day that's why I said Ranveer's performance in Padmava Padmavati he needs to be doing more roles like something like that like he needs to be giving like more roles like that 
where it's like it's more serious or he should be playing like the evil like give me more than this goofy personality like i get it like that's that's who you are in general like as a person as a personality but like explore your options explore your options enough with the goofy stuff like go and give me romance drama romance give me drama romance evil character because let's be very clear he does both very well he does both very well so i don't know i know like uh, probably not a lot of people are gonna agree with me when it comes to this but it's just like i i just see so much potential when it comes to the thing i think that he's such an amazing actor i think he can act his ass off that's why i feel like he should be giving us better movies than the ones that he's like playing around on screen on screen currently and maybe who knows i don't know maybe maybe like the old school bollywood romance drama is not selling like how it used to that's why like the new bollywood movies are very like generic you could tell that it's very manufactured and not really the scripts are not really sincere maybe that's what's maybe that's what's selling in like the old school bollywood um scripts are not selling like that but i don't know i don't know i just feel like we need better um especially for number like i think that he deserves better so that's why i feel like he mm, we need something different from him. Like, <laughs> that's all I can say. We need something different from him. Really, like, so. So, what do you guys think in the comment section below? Do you guys agree with me? Like, you know, don't fear. It's like, yes. Well, like, we, listen. We might like him for his personality. Yes, he's very colorful. Very goofy. Very, like, class clownish. But don't do, don't you guys want to see something different? Like, while well, he's on screen. Apart from, like the off-screen personality because let's be very clear shadow god is also like also very comedic as well go watch shadow god's um simi garwal um interview shadow god is also very comedic he's very a little bit class clownish but shadow god carries himself in a way where it's like yes wow this might be my personality but no i'm gonna ex i'm gonna be doing these roles that like that give that reflect my versatility okay and i feel like that's where when needs to be sort of taking that sort of line and and, and just following from shadow Khan's footsteps i don't know because i really want when to do this i don't want him to just be like the ambassador of something like we can all be an ambassador of something I want you to be known for your acting because you are a you are a great actor, you know, and I know that you have the potential to show me something different. Either way, please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like like my video. Please comment. Please share my video, guys. Okay, we need to get these um subscribers list up. I want to get up to 200, 200 subscribers. Let's get it up, y'all. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.